Hello everyone, it's my channel today. We're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find much other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Aquarius, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. So, you have number seven with care. Number 13 with the crow. Number 35 with the owl tower. Number 2 with Kale Leech, which I believe we're talking about that in one of those readings there. We number 21 with the Temple of Earth. Number 34 with the Other Worlds. Number 11 with the Lover. Number 29 with the vision, Aquarius, you're connecting with the other worlds here in the spiritual realms. Aquarius connecting, connecting with Earth element as well, but it's like you're having visions here when you travel to these spiritual realms. Can you be visions of a lover? So there's something over here. Actually, we start with number two. She brings you wisdom, teaching, mental lucidity, intuitions, and visions, oracle skills, prophetic dreams, and she puts you in touch with the calmness and silence that contains all possibilities. Sorry. And now we're on to number seven. She brings you nourishment, abundance, generative, creativity, a network of roots, responsibility, well-being, support, can. Tain and maturity. So these are both goddesses here, Aquarius, connecting with you. I have number 11 over here. And the lover, a flowery face, a snake woman, who has full self-consciousness. I know my body, I love it, and I live well within it. I'm aware of the cycles, I move harmoniously within them. Drawing pleasure and wisdom from them, I know beauty, sensuality, dance, music, singing, Everything that creates well-being, joy, and pleasure. I unite opposites in the gentle, mystical fusion. I know how to give and to receive in equal measure. Feel me in the height of spring. Honor me on May Day, when nature is in full swing. When everything is verdant, the flowers bloom, and the warm sun spreads their delicious scents everywhere. Meet me when nature is lush and urges you to open up to the outside, to love, recognize beauty, and to enjoy it. And get the chrome. It says, I'm the old woman, the wise one, the one who transforms, the lady of death. I have lived a very long time, and I know every song, every story, and every mystery. I am the keeper of the ancient traditions, the one who descended into the kingdom of shadows, and can now show you the way. I am the challenger. I bring everything that is hidden to the surface, so that it can be surveyed and transformed. I guard the cycles of life, and I teach that there is always a seed of light in the darkness and the death that is followed by rebirth. I recognize my powerful presence in late autumn. When the hours of darkness grow longer and longer, the leaves on the trees are tinged with red and begin to fall. Feel me as the sap retreats into the roots, and the earth retreats into itself, as the winter becomes colder and colder. Sacred space of the cave in the belly of the Mother Earth, illuminated and heated by torches. On the stone throne, you can meet Queen Morgana, sovereign of Britannia, lady of the lands of the West and Northwest. Omphalus and the Standing Stone, she manifests herself to you so that you can learn grounding and to make your projects come to fruition. To allow your role in the world to achieve significant fulfillment through the full expression of your ability. She also provides nourishment and allows re revelation. Number 
Let me have the vision. Through the gift of psychic vision, we can activate our active imagination. That is, we can act through images and through the vision change ourselves and the surrounding world with our psychic and inner power. Recognize the infinite possible worlds, the physical and subtle worlds, and the possibility of organization. Explore your own potential, who you want to be, where and how you want to live, what you are fighting for, and what kind of world you want to create and bequeath to those who come after you. Visit your inner world, your dreams, but also the shamanic universes. Then we have the Owl Tower. Find a quiet place where you can collect your thoughts and meditation and experience isolation and peace. Listen to your need to... Enter within yourself to allow more effective self-examinations. Silence the inner and outer judges and achieve a change of perspective. Okay, Aquarius. It's going within, changing the perspective here, going within the spiritual realms as well, connecting with that earth element there. Those visions. Okay. But you definitely have these two connecting with you, and then we also mentioned Morgana there. That's all connecting with you, bringing in those visions, connecting with you as allies, to reach out and connect with them as well. Let's get some room, some charms for yourself. Mm -hmm. We have Aries. You can have those placements or one around you. We have Bastet. We have Horus. Of this moth girl. Uh, the moth is connected to the moon, which you're connecting with. If you're connected with the moth, you have the moth um, being a spiritual initiation and transformation, waking of psychic gifts and abilities, which we are talking about that here. Psychic vision, psychic dreams, prophetic dreams. Aquarius. We have the sun beetle, which you're connecting to. So you're connecting with the sun and the moon. Aquarius. We have Ra. We have the rose. The rose is important for the heart chakra, but the rose also is a symbol for Aphrodite here. You're going through a spiritual initiation, Aquarius, and that is what is opening up for you. It's all this right here. So, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop. Go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.